Okay, we have gotten this all stirred up. Now, you can see it's a much thicker batter now. Okay, so it's pretty, it's looking more like a muffin mix, which that's kind of what you want. This is a dense, a nice dense cake. Okay, so now we're gonna add our pound of blueberries. Now, I'm gonna save off just a few of them, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna garnish the top of my cake with probably, oh, maybe a half a cup or right around there, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold these in too because you don't want to use the mixer on these blueberries because it will just break them all apart and then you're gonna have just a big blue blob of cake and you don't want that. You want those plump blueberries cooked right into that mixture. So just a nice fold into the, the mixture. I'll kind of show you here. See how you just kind of incorporate those in and it's gonna be perfect. A couple of stirs is really all you need, and then you're ready to go. So this looks perfect. Now we're ready to add this to our pan. Now if you wanna go ahead and use cake pans, you can definitely do that. I love to put it in a bunt pan. Um, that's kind of my go-to pan with this, with this recipe, just because of presentation and because of the nice plump blueberries, you get a nice tall piece, and that's what I love. All right, the more the blueberries, the better. That's how I view it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and we're just gonna go ahead and scoop this mix right into the pan. Now the good thing is, is it's thick enough so you can kind of get this even. You know how sometimes when it's really runny, it's like, whoa, and it runs up the sides? Well, this isn't the case. This is a much thicker, like I said before, moister and dense cake. So you're gonna be able to con con kind of control this a little bit better. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in and just kind of um, get it in all around and nice and even. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven. Now, like I said, based on the pan that you use, based on your oven, your time cooking is gonna vary, okay? But I usually start checking this at the 35 minute mark. Right around there, that's kind of my key. And I bake it anywhere 35 to 45 minutes, depending on when it comes out clean. Now I just take a, a toothpick or if you have a cake tester, you know, one of those long um, metal cake testers or a knife, butter knife always works. I, was, I stick a butter knife in it half the time. So you can definitely do that. Now, <clears throat> if you're making this for your mom or your grandmother or your daughter or whatever, you can leave a little bit left in the bowl. I'll let you, oops, I spilled some. Um, you, can, you can eat a little bit of this if you want. Okay, so you, if you like cake batter, you can leave a little bit left. I'll let you do that. You're the chef, you're doing this for a gift. I'll let you, you know, you can lick the spoon. How's that? This is looking fantastic. I have got the last bit here in my pan. And I'm just gonna kind of clean off my, I'm not gonna lick it today because I'm gonna have this for lunch. Oh, dessert, not just for lunch. We've got, my mom's making a, a chicken and then I've got some vegetables and we're just gonna have a nice lunch. And this is gonna be for dessert. Yes. All right, so give it a couple of taps. I went ahead, like I said before, and greased and floured this. Um, and then this is gonna pop right into my oven. And when we come back, this, we're gonna make the frosting. This is gonna be done, and we are gonna have some fun frosting this and tasting that buttercream frosting. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, so don't go away. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hey, everybody, we're back. And what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be creating that wonderful lemon buttercream frosting to go on top of the blueberry uh, zucchini cake. Now, the cake is almost finished. It's got a few minutes left, but I figured I'd go ahead and start the frosting. And then um, after the cake cools just a little bit, uh, I flip it over onto a plate and then decorate it and uh, kind of sprinkle the blueberries on the top after I frost it and it just turns out great. So let's go ahead and start the frosting and I'll let you know kind of um, the ingredients as we go. First, I'm gonna start off with one cup of softened butter. Now, I've just let this come to room temperature. So it's two sticks, because it's a half a cup for each stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put both sticks in the mixer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start the mixer going. 
Now I'm gonna get that butter all kind of creamy and incorporate it into the bowl and ready for the confectionery sugar and the other ingredients that we have. Now, another ingredient that we're gonna be using is lemon juice. Now, I've gone ahead and zested one whole lemon. So that's given me just over a teaspoon of zest and we're gonna be using that at the end. But I've also juiced that lemon as well. So I've got the juice of a lemon in here and then to that we're gonna be adding to the mixture one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Now I went ahead and put the vanilla away without even realizing I probably should have kept it out, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. I've got one teaspoon here, so I'm just gonna do one and a half um, to that and then to the butter mixture. And then we're gonna turn this up and we're gonna really beat it well. Now, if your butter isn't quite at room temperature, you could put it in the microwave for five to 10 seconds just to soften it up a little bit. You don't want it too runny, but you don't want it really, really hard either because once you start mixing this, you want those clumps in the butter to just spread nice and evenly. So if your butter is a little too hard, it might take you longer to whip this and it might take longer for that butter to kind of melt into the confectionery sugar, okay? So that's just kind of word to the wise there. All right, now this is getting nice and creamy. I'm gonna turn this right back down to the first speed and I'm gonna add my lemon juice. Now, every lemon's different. Some are gonna have more juice than others, right? But just one lemon's fine. Just juice it up in good shape, okay? And I'm gonna leave the zest for the last part and I'm gonna actually put that in at the very end. Now, to this mixture, I'm going to add three and a half cups of confectionery sugar. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just spoon this in. Like I said, I don't want a huge mess. I know, it's just, it's one of those things where you start spooning this stuff in and it just goes everywhere. If you put in too much at a time, it's like that fine line, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep spooning this in. It's gonna take a little while. So when we come back, this will be towards the last end of it. And then we'll add that lemon zest and we'll be good to go. So I'll be right back as soon as we finish mixing all this in. All right, everybody, it has finished mixing here and I have just kind of detached it from the mixer. I'm gonna kind of scrape off the batter uh, or the frosting, I'm sorry, off of the paddle attachment here just to try to get as much off as I can and back into the bowl. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take that lemon zest. Look at that, don't, don't you just wanna lick that? Oh, all right, especially with the lemon juice and the vanilla, it's just gonna be so delicious. Okay, so this is a, the perfect buttercream consistency, and I'm gonna let you see in just a second, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add that lemon zest, make sure you get every bit, that's liquid gold right there. That lemon zest is so wonderful. And I'm just gonna kind of fold that into the frosting mixture. And you don't have to beat that at all, just kind of fold it in at the last minute, okay? And then our blueberries are gonna go on the top of the cake after we frost the top of the cake, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spoon this after I fold it in that lemon zest so it's, it's nice and incorporated. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon this into this bowl so you can see about how much it makes, makes a few cups, whoops. And we're gonna let this set off to the side. Just come back up to room temperature. It's pretty warm because it's been, um, it's been beating, you know, in the mixer. So we're gonna just let this set off to the side. My cake is almost finished. That's gonna come out and then we're gonna frost everything and decorate the top of it and it's gonna be perfect. So. I'm just gonna kind of wipe up here a little bit. The cake's gonna come out. You're gonna be able to see the end results in just a few minutes, so don't go away. Hey everybody, we're back. Thanks for joining back in. I've got the cake all done. It's cooled um, and it's ready to be frosted. So I've got my frosting here and my blueberries. So you can pretty much decorate it however you want. And I just simply frost it. Frost the top of it and the sides. A little bit, I don't really go too much down the sides, but if you want to do the whole thing, you definitely can. It's completely up to you. I just have a little angled spatula here. You can use a regular spatula or a knife or, or whatever you want. I don't really get too fancy with this just because it's, uh, 
it's more of just, I wanna hurry up and eat it. So we're gonna have lunch here in just a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep going around and just put a generous amount of frosting all over the cake. And I've let it cool, like I said, kind of. It's still a little bit warm, but um, it's not completely cooled just because I want that frosting to just kind of melt a little bit into the cake and just create a really good um, layer all over. Now, like I said, I did save some of the blueberries for the end um, of the, after I finish frosting this, I'm gonna just kind of put the blueberries right along the top. Now again, this frosting is super simple. It's just a little bit of butter, some confectionery sugar, and then I have that uh, the juice of one lemon, and I have the lemon zest in there, and a little bit of vanilla. So basically, it's you can use this for anything. If you wanted to um, actually use this and make some cupcakes out of it, you could definitely do that. Or you can um, just save the frosting and make it um, for you know any type of cake that you want or cupcakes. So I have just a little bit left. I'm gonna just kind of finish this off with, and again, I'm not going down all the way down completely. You, like I said, you can get fancy with this if you want, or you can just simply frost it, and that's what I'm doing. And get on the inside of this too. And like I said, I did a bunt cake. You can do two like eight inch rounds or two nine inch rounds if you want to. That's completely up to you and what you have right at your home. You can do it in a sheet cake as well. So we can definitely do that. So I've got that all finished. And then I'm just gonna take some of the blueberries and we're just gonna sprinkle them over the top. And you can leave some off to the side too if you want and put them on people's plates as you serve it. That would be kind of cool too. So be generous with the blueberries. You can never have too many. That's how, that's how I believe. Definitely blueberries are where it's at. So the lemon and the blueberry and the zucchini inside the cake is just going to be so delicious. When people say zucchini, I just don't get it, but you will. Try this. You'll love it. Try it for Mother's Day, like I said. You guys out there, you kids out there, try it for your moms and your grandmothers, and, uh, and then you should be set. So here it is. It's a wonderful cake, and I hope you really enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get all the videos so have a great day and remember whatever you do you make it with love see you later